Red Rhino always begins its coating process with utilizing state-of-the-art shot glass technology. This machine hurls tiny pellets at high velocity against the concrete to produce a profile. This allows the polymer system to bond with the concrete. Diamond grinding is used to create a profile along the edges and corners. After the shot blasting is completed, detailed preparation work is required. Masking off unprotected areas. Backing in edges. And diamond grinding of high spots. Removal of excess caulking. Sweeping and vacuuming. Cleaning out of control joints. Protection of plumbing fixtures. And detail work is all part of the preparation process. Proper mixture of the two component polymer system is essential. Correct amounts of the base resin to the hardener must be correctly mixed. All cracks, divots, and joints must be leveled and capped prior to the application of the polymer system. The first of the four coat system must be applied with a notched rubber squeegee. This allows the polymer system to be applied evenly. Edges must be cut in by hand. Back rolling allows the coating system to be leveled further. Spiked shoes allow the applicators to walk on the wet coating. Broadcasting of a special silica allows Red Rhino to provide a textured finish. At this point in the process, we turn our attention to the kitchen. Here Red Rhino applies its high performance color quartz system. In order to provide a watertight kitchen floor, Red Rhino begins with its unique co-face design. After the FRP panels are run to the concrete slab, ACX plywood base is both glued and screwed over the panel. After all cracks and seams are filled, a base coat of clear resin is applied. Finally, 3M color cord sand is broadcast into the wet resin. While the kitchen floor is curing, the red dining room is being prepared for the next step. After it is dried, the excess silica is removed. The floor is then sanded and prepared for the next broadcast coat. Vacuuming silica dust is also important. The second broadcast coat is then applied. This achieves a thicker and more durable floor.
The dining room floor also requires the application of cove base. This cove base is applied by experienced craftsmen who apply it by hand. All thresholds require flashing which conform to local codes. Next in the process is the third coating application. The rough silica finish is flooded with a specialty formulated high performance top coat system. Back to the kitchen floor. The second broadcast coat is applied using custom colored 3M quartz sand. In preparation for the fourth and final top coat, attention to detail is critical. During the application of this final coat, aluminum oxide is lightly broadcast and back rolled into the wet coating. This special component provides for a perfect texture that is both slip resistant and easy to clean. Now for the final clear coat in the kitchen. Additional sanding is performed in order to provide a smooth and more sanitary finish under the kitchen equipment. This final sealing coat is again applied by using a squeegee and back roll. Red Rhino is proud of its crew members, its crew leaders, and the work they provide the organization's client base and strategic business partners day to day and job to job. Welcome to Red Rhino, the Epoxy Flooring Company.